I am currently in a directory, and this directory is a file with a list of names. I can cat out the names in that file, just the contents of the file, using cat, which would be the normal way to do it, to concatenate, even though we're really not concatenating anything there. Uh, but you can do the same thing with awk, using awk, and then the curly brackets and print. Uh, and in this particular case, these single quotes are optional, but I like to use them. And then the file name, and it prints out the file name. You might go, Chris, why would I do that when the cat command works just fine? Well, because the awk command is super useful and powerful and the first step in using it is printing what's in the file. So although this by itself may not be super useful for you, it will be useful in the future as we continue with these tutorials. So got to start with the basics. I hope you found this useful. Filmsbychris.com. Visit it. Chris with a K. Have a great day. I'm in a directory with a file called names, which has a list of names in it, and I can print it out by using awk and then the print command inside curly brackets like so. And now if you'll see that there's two columns divided by some white space. So if I wanted to print a particular col column, by default, awk uses white space as delimiters. So I can say dollar sign one, and it'll print just that first column, which is people's first names in this case. I can also say dollar sign two to print the second column, which is their last names. And I can also reverse them by saying dollar sign two dollar sign one but there will be no space between them so if I want the space between them I'm gonna go back and in quotations put a space and that is how you work with columns in awk in the last video I showed you how you can print columns using awk and you can use a space as the delimiter but you can use whatever you'd like in there so I can come in here instead of a space between column one and column two of the names file I can say comma and now it will print a comma in between those I can go back in there and I can change that from a comma to maybe a pipe symbol and now there's a pipe in between each column and I can even use something like a tab so backslash T for tab and now there's a tab which is similar to the original file but I can do something like putting backslash T backslash T get two tabs in there or I can even go as far as maybe three tabs or as many as I'd like and now I have very defined columns using tabs so that's switching out the delimiter uh, in a file using awk I've been working with this file that has a list of names of it. I can print out the full list of names. You can see first names and last names divided by white space. If I want to, I can print uh, a column of that. For example, dollar sign two would print the second column, which is last names. But now I have another file here called CSV, which is divided up by commas. If I was to try to print line two of the CSV file, we're gonna get nothing because there is no second column. I can go in here and I can print line column one and it prints the whole thing. So how do I print uh, the columns I want using a different delimiter other than white spaces? Well, with the awk command, I can say dash capital F and in quotations, give it my delimiter. In this case, it's a comma and I can say field one and it will print field one. I can say field two and it'll print field two. And I can do that with any delimiter I would like. We've been working with awk, and I've been working with this file called names.list, which if I was to print out using awk, is a file with names, first and last names in separate columns. Let's go ahead and use awk similar to what we would do with grep. So what I can do in here is I can say awk, look at this file, and we're gonna look for lines that have a capital M followed by a lowercase a. And there we get lines that only have those characters. And of course, with that, we can still use the print command like we have in previous videos, print dollar sign one for column one, or if we wanted to print column two, which is the last names, dollar sign two. Uh, we can also say something like, let's just look for any line that has a lowercase m, do that. And of course we want to get rid of this curly brace here. And now we have lines that have just the lowercase m's in them. Now we can do this case insensitive, which we will do in the next video. Continuing where we left off in the last video because I ran out of time. Here we have awk. We're going to search for any line in this names file for any line that has the lowercase m in it. And we will go ahead and hit enter there. And now we have lines that only have lowercase m's. Now, if we wanted to say case insensitive, what we can do is we can do this. We can say awk and then at the beginning, let's start with ignore case equals one. So we're going to ignore case, look for any line with an m. And in this case, it will be lowercase or uppercase. Go ahead and run that. And we have lines that have m, whether they're lowercase or uppercase. Working with a file here with a list of names, I'll print them out using awk, that is the full file. Now let's say we want to find lines that not just have an M or a capital M, but lines that begin with a capital M. Well, what we can do is this right here. Just like using something grep, we're gonna say the, uh, 
the caret symbol saying at the beginning of the line followed by a capital M. And there we have that. Now if we wanted to have lines that start with M and a lowercase O, we can do that and we'll get just lines that start with a capital M and lowercase O, but only at the beginning of the line. We can do other letters as well. So instead of M, we can say T or whatever we what would like to look for. Now, if we want to look for something at the end of the line, just like if you're working with grep and these expressions, we could say something like ER and then the dollar sign means at the end of the line. So now we're going to find all lines in this file that end in ER. And there we go. We have Fuller, Wheeler and Wagner. We're still working with this file of names. That's the file right there. We can use awk to search through it in different ways. Let's say we wanted to find uh, any line that has not just a, an exact match, but a somewhat match. So let's say we wanted to get any name that begins with a B, A, a J, A, or a P, A. Well, all we have to do is this command right here and we'll find any line in this case with a capital P, uh, B, P, or J, followed by a lowercase a, and that's what we get right here with Barnes, Patterson, Jacobs, uh, and so forth and so on. Here we are continuing working with this names file. Let's go ahead and search through it. Let's say we wanted to find anyone with the name Barnes. We can go ahead and do that like so, and we get our lines with Barnes. But let's say we want to look for anyone with the name Barnes or Jacobs. Well, we can do that by using uh, this right here. We're going to look at anything in these parentheses and then each word divided up by this pipe symbol. So now we're going to find all lines with Barnes or Jacobs and we're not going case insensitive here. We learned how to do that in a previous video. If we wanted to, we do that and we get Barnes, Jacobs, Jacobs and Barnes. We are continuing working with this names file. What if we want to know how many lines, or in this case names, are in that file? Well, one of the commands we would normally use is wc-l, which would give us line count for this names file. You could do the same thing with awk using something like this. We can say awk, and then we're creating a variable here, cnt, and where each time we loop, we're gonna say plus plus, we're adding one to it. At the end of the file, just go ahead and print that number, and we get the 24. Convenient thing about this, though, is that we can add some text to the end of that. So we can do something like this, where we do the same thing, but in that print command, instead of just giving the variable, we say count equals, and then that variable, when I hit enter here, now we have that text at the beginning of that line. We are continuing working with this names file, as I'll print out on the screen here. If we wanted to, we could get uh, use grep to grep for matches, in this case, capital M and A, and then we can pipe that into WC-L for uh, line count of matches. We could also do that without the WC command. We can just say dash C here, and grep will give us the number of matches that we get from that file. Uh, but we could also do something like this, where we just use awk and we say look for MA and then give us account at the end gives us the same thing but the benefit of doing it with awk one of the benefits is that we can actually append some text to begin of it without putting it into a variable so let's say i wanted to say the number of matches is and give it a number i would have to put this into a variable and then echo that out where with awk we can just do something like this where we add it to the print command Still working with this names file, as you can see on the screen there. Today we're going to look at awk and we're going to say, look at each line and find the length of the line. If that length of the line is greater than 15, so there's more than 15 characters in the line, print that line. So that's what we do there. And of course, we can also do something like this, where we are doing the same thing, but also counting the lines. So now we get a number. We can see that there are three lines that are greater than 15 characters in length. And that's counting the characters in a line using awk. 